Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris Lee back with another video, singer, songwriter, producer, professional audio engineer, owner of United Destiny Entertainment. Hey, check this out, guys. I got a great video for you guys today. A lot of you guys have been asking me, what do you do when you get uh, an acapella song from a client or artist? Well, the thing is, is nine times out of 10 is when you get a track from the artist, most likely if they're a good artist, it's gonna be to some type of tempo or BPM. If they're just some amateur artist, you will hear them going in and rapping and changing up speeds and it's not going to make any sense and they will want you to build a beat around it plus mix it um well that's pretty much what i get paid to do well for this particular track what i did was recorded just some random vocals to 120 bpm and now i'm just going in and actually building a beat around it from scratch um i did try to make a video segment of this you know doing it from the beginning uh, but the problem was was the delay from the MIDI keyboard since I'm recording system audio was not allowing me to record the video and play on tempo and on time at the same time. So I had to go ahead and just start building some instruments around the acapella vocals just to go ahead and give you guys something to work with. And I'm going to try to use this video to go ahead and build more. So just stay tuned and watch this video and please rate, like, comment, subscribe and share this video because you will like it check it out all right so what i did was here's some vocals that i recorded <clears throat> look woo, let's you go put in that work i got a big house because i put, put in that work yeah, i drive yeah. a nice car because i put, put in that work and i'm known in these streets because i put, put in that work 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 stay on my hustle i'm pushing this weight and i'm gaining these muscles okay those are some random vocals that i just freestyled off the top of my head uh as you see <clears throat> I have a lead in there as, as well as some ad libs, some fills. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to pan these vocals. I'm going to show you guys how to add some effects to these vocals as well as mix it with the instruments that you add to it so we can find some balance. What I did with the uh, sub bass, well, the bass drum, basically what I took it, I basically took it and matched the key. Uh, to what the vocals were sounding like. I also recorded some random um harmonies just to try to show you guys how to mix some harmonies too they're just random vocals that i did they're not anything that i've you know put a lot of effort into but i'm just going to show you guys the whole concept all right so first things first i use the bass drum you heard what the bass drum sound like now these vocals here they're not panned or anything right now um and that's okay because i'm going to show you guys how to pan them and stuff matter of fact i can go ahead and pop possibly just do that right now so you guys can actually hear um the vocals being i guess if you will balanced <clears throat> so they're not all distorted so in the process right now i know that i have my lead ad here and here's my lead vocal so let me just go ahead and possibly just change that color for right now so i know exactly what i'm working with <clears throat> okay and the fills after that let me go ahead and change those colors too and let me make sure you guys still can see me okay um you know what? I'm not even going to do that right now. It doesn't even matter. But I know uh, where my lead is. So my lead is green. And I want to go ahead and pan those vocals after it. I have two of them. So you want to go 50 to the left channel, 50 to the right channel. Always stereo pan just because stereo is two channels. Look, woo, let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put, put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put, put in that work. work. And I'm known in these streets because I put, put in that work. work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Just want to find a nice balance before you even add any compressors or anything on the vocals. Look, woo, let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that yeah, work. I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that yeah. work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, work. stay on my hustle. I'm pushing. <clears throat> Here I know I have the ad, <clears throat> the lead ad lib, so I want to adjust those. Let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that work. work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Look, woo, let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. And this one is also a lead one. Don't really want to focus too much on that one, but. 
just to know what we're working with. Look, Woo, let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm okay, it's really important to balance <clears throat> and get the vocals panned out and everything so you know exactly what you're working with, like I said. so Because if everything is sitting in the middle of the frequency spectrum, then distortion is naturally going to be caused. The whole purpose and the whole key idea to go ahead and get a great mix is to be able to have a bunch of going on or a little bit going on and be able to create space so everything sits in the frequency spectrum evenly so it sounds balanced okay so as far as the instrumentation this is what i'm what i'm starting with right now <clears throat> Look, Let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that work. Yeah. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work. Look, Let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that yeah, work. Yeah. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. Yeah. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. 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 Stay on my hustle. I'm pushing. So, since I can't play the MIDI keyboard, basically what I'm doing is I am going ahead and using the pattern mode um, to go ahead and create my melody around it and this is also a good thing to show you guys because you don't necessarily need a midi keyboard the pattern mode as long as you know how to use it properly <laughs> as well as uh layer your instruments properly is going to turn out just fine so let me take this up a key Look, Let's you put go. in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that work. Yeah. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Look, Let's you go. put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. Yeah, I drive yeah. a nice car because I put in that work. Yeah. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue to build this beat around these vocals. And I'm going to pause it for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and come back to you guys and show you guys exactly what I did. So like I said, since I can't, let me go ahead and fix this again. Since I can't use the MIDI keyboard, um, I'm just going into the pattern mode <clears throat> with Nexus right now. Uh, I already added a few other things. I'm using the Big Bells right now and check this out it's starting to sound pretty good it's not mixed this is just all the creating portion of it <clears throat> Active on that. I just love doing that because it changes it up and it makes it sound great. Check it out. Okay, so now that I have the foundation of the beat, the melody and everything, I like it. I like what I have right now because you definitely don't want to have a lot going on uh, doing the verse. Uh, but <clears throat> the best part about it is we can go ahead and start to mess with the vocals now um, and kind of just help them sit more in a mix. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and kind of mess with this a little bit. I usually mix everything inside of uh, Pro Tools. So doing it in FL Studio, I mean, every audio program is pretty much the same. 
but I'm going to go ahead and just try to show you guys how I would do it if I was to mix it in Pro Tools. It might sound a little bit different, but that's fine. I just want to go ahead and show you guys what I normally do. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that vocal take and build from there. <clears throat> You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this two ways. Um first I'm gonna start with FL Studios, compressors, <clears throat> and kind of go from there. So I already know for a fact a four to, four to one ratio is very good to start with the vocals for every DV. Uh you lose, uh you gain that's compressed, you gain one back. Um, go ahead and cut back on the threshold and start to adjust the gain for whatever I lose in the process. You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. Work. You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. 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 You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. 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 Definitely want to go with a fast attack. I increased the uh, the release a little bit. <laughs> fast attack is I just obviously want the compressor to work fast and then close fast. I don't want it to stay open the entire time. You put in that work. I got a big house cuz I put in that work. I drive a nice car cuz I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets cuz I put in that work. Okay, so with that being said, <clears throat> I like how that compressor is sounding right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and um uh, comp Uh, comp, I just put comp one. <clears throat> now I want to go ahead and do that for the other vocals, but right now let's go ahead and just put an EQ on here as well. <clears throat> I like how the vocal is sounding, but I want it to stand out a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I already know I'm going to, uh, cut the lows 80, 90. <clears throat> hurts sometimes 100 sometimes 120 i just want the lows to be taken away so i can make the vocal a little bit thinner um and take away some of that muffledness so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and boost the the mids and the highs where i need to and adjust it from there you put in that work i got a big house because i put in that work i drive a nice car because i put in that work and i'm known in these streets because i put in that work 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 stay on my hustle i'm pushing this weight and i'm getting you put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm okay, I like the reason why you want to go ahead and make the vocal kind of thin in the process is because we have bass drum in the track as well as kicks. And obviously having other instruments that's going to sit in a low and mid frequency that's going to take up a lot of that. Having that with me being a male vocalist with a lot of low mid frequencies already isn't going to do anything but muffle the track, my, make my vocals be uh, basically drowned out by the bass drum. And the whole purpose is if you want something to stand out, you have to create clarity. You have to create um, a high frequency that's going to pierce through the low frequency. And that's what I'm doing with my vocals. So I'm making my vocals thinner <clears throat> and a higher frequency so they can be able to pierce through that su uh, sub drum and be able to still sit in the mix. So this, this is what it sounds like without it. With it. If you can hear that nice, crispy, high-end vocal uh, that's piercing through that, that's exactly what you guys want to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and save this EQ as well and just put EQ one. So I'll know exactly what I'm working with. Um, and the same thing, you want to go ahead and do that for the other vocals as well. So let's just go in and find comp one, as well as put that EQ on there. 
EQ one and then do that for the other vocal, which I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Comp one. And let's go ahead and put that EQ on there as well. Now, remember, guys, this is just the basics. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Now, another thing I wanted to mention was, guys, don't be afraid to push the faders a little bit. Don't be afraid to add some DB. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work. Stay on my hustle. I'm now, normally, the, the whole general idea of doing that, you want to go ahead and go to your instruments and cut those down instead of <clears throat> increasing the volume. But I tell you like this, guys, if it sounds good, it's good. Pay attention to your meters, but your meters aren't everything. People might tell you that, but that is not the truth. I have mixed plenty of sessions and plenty of songs to where I use the meters and the meters were leveled right, but the volume or the instrument just wasn't hitting right or the vocal wasn't hitting high enough or it just didn't sit in the mix well. Do not be afraid to push the faders, guys. Do not be afraid to use your your uh, effects. Just use your ears, use your eyes at the same time. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. <clears throat> okay, I like that. I like that. Um... Let me go back to the lead real quick because I tell you right now, there's a lot of people out here who are afraid <clears throat> to utilize effects. Don't be afraid to utilize effects, guys. That's the whole purpose of being an uh, engineer. You can't be taught talent in school. Know that. You cannot be taught talent in school. They can teach you how to mix, but they can't teach you talent. You have to use your ears. You have to know um how, what to create and how to create it without being afraid so let's just go ahead and use some reverb right now and i'll use some other effects later you put in that work i got a big house because i put in that work i drive a nice car because i put in that work and i'm known in these streets because i put in that work 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 stay on my hustle i'm pushing this weight and i'm gaining these muscles you put in that work i got a big house because i put in that work i drive a nice car because i put in that work and i'm known in these streets because i put in that work 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 stay on my hustle i'm pushing this weight and i'm gaining these muscles now remember i'm just basically starting this thing off by getting a a, a simple mix that i like and then later, I'm going to go in and I'm going to enhance everything. I'm going to enhance all the vocals. I'm going to enhance the bass drum, the kick, the snares, hi-hat. Everything is going to pop with clarity. It's going to be punchy. It's going to be the vocals going to be right in your face. That's that's what you want to go for. That's exactly what you want to go for. Um, so right now, I just want to go ahead and take, um, let's take some of this guitar effect here. <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some of this um, for my ad-lib vocals. So let's go here, second track. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drop. Put in that work. Put in that work. Work, work. Stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this way. Now, you guys might probably won't be able to hear it but what that's doing is just giving it a little edgy guitar sound effect to the vocals uh it's real subtle it's real light but trust me it definitely makes a difference in the mix let's go I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work. Stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Now, say if I wanted to do something with that vocal, I'm going to go in and I'm going ahead and put that compressor that I put on there earlier. But I'm just going to do something a little bit different with that portion of it. I want to give that portion of it probably like some radio effect type thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So with the radio effect, you want to cut it probably about 500 hertz, 
for the lows and for the highs, <clears throat> somewhere around between two and five K. You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> now, like I said, for right now, it's gonna it's gonna sound like it's you know it's too low or whatever. But that's but that's okay because we are we're working right now. We're working. Now I like that. Now I kind of wanna. I like it where it is, and I'm not gonna be afraid to to push the volume a little bit. Okay. I like that. Okay. Now, like I said, guys, don't be afraid to to use your plugins. You put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. So as you can see, guys, it's starting to sound really, really good. Um, like I said, now if I wanted to do something different, uh, let's say if I just cut this compressor off. And I did want to tell you guys something. There is a big difference how you use your plugins in your chain a lot of you people don't know that your mixes will sound different if you decide to use a compressor before eq or or eq before a compressor if you don't think that's true go ahead and try it out and see what the difference is especially when you tr want to try multiple eqs and compressors on tracks it doesn't matter where you put your tracks and where you put your effects in your effects chain will change the sound of your mixes. So a lot of you people be like, man, you know, I tried your mixing style on my tracks and it's just not working. Well, that's because I treat every song differently. I don't have a go-to plan that I do for everything. I know what I'm going to do based off what I, what I hear with my ears. But guys, you have to be able to use your ears. There's a lot of people out here who want to give you a bunch of presets no offense to them sometimes presets work but excuse my language but i think that's a bunch of bullshit because every track is treated differently everybody uses different instruments different effects on that instrument so how is one preset gonna work the same for every freaking instrument that's recorded in different environments or different places by different artists it doesn't matter guys you have to learn how to use your ears and do trial and error Go to school if you need to go to school so they can teach you how to use the tools. But that's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. You're going to go to school. And a lot of you are going to graduate and you're going to realize, damn, man, I really still cannot mix. So I really just didn't get the concept. The reason why is because you have to have experience with this stuff. Talent cannot be taught. And I'm not going to go on a rant about that because I definitely could. I'm sorry, guys. I get pretty hyped up about that. But guys, take your time to do trial and error and learn how to use your plugins this time i'm going to go in and i'm going to use um a cla compressor and this one probably be a little bit harsh but that's okay let's just go with it so you guys can hear what it sounds like look you put in that work i got a big house because i put in that work i drive a nice car because i put in that work and i'm known in these streets because i put in that work You put in that work, I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work and I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. Work, stay on my hustle, I'm pushing this weight. Look, you put in that work, I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work and I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle, I'm pushing this weight. A CLA compressor isn't bad. Let's try a different one. Um it's all about how you adjust these things. I'm just slapping some on there for the sake of you guys. Look, you put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work, stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Look, you 
put in that work. I got a big house cause I put in that work. I drive a nice car cause I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets cause I put in that work. So it really it really depends on whatever compressor you guys want to use. I can use pretty much any compressor, whether it's factory, aftermarket compressors. It doesn't matter. I can make it all sound good. It just all depends on what you guys are going for, the sound that you're going for. Um, there's also a lot of things that I like to do with uh, Gross Beat. And I'll show you guys that later. But like I said, this video is getting pretty much long. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys the process of this stuff and how, how I do things. You put in that work. I got a house cause you put in that work. Yeah. Yeah. Driving a car cause you put in that work. Yeah. Don't in the streets cause you put in that work. Work, work, work. Stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. So it all depends what you guys are doing. But guys, this is just a basic video. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Just <clears throat> pretty much how to use simple compressors, EQs, a little bit of verb. You can also use some delays. Don't go overboard with the delays. I can put some delays in there right now, just depending on how much time I got. Um, but let me see. There's a lot of delays. So with the age delay, what I did was I put it on a track. Um sorry I had some issues and then I put a CLA after it and then I also want to go ahead and put like some type of radio effect after that because I want the the EQs to be like a radio effect I might in fact before I even do that well, you know what that, that'll go ahead and work look, you put in that work I got a big house because I put in that work I drive a nice car because I put in that Check the vocals out. Let me go ahead and stop um, the lead vocal from playing and check it out. Let's go. Put in that work. Yeah. Yeah. Put in that work. Yeah. Put in that work. 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 Stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. Let's go. Put in that work. Yeah. Yeah. Put in that work. Yeah. Check it out. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. Work, work. Stay on my hustle. I'm pushing this weight and I'm gaining these muscles. You put in that work. I got a big house because I put in that work. I drive a nice car because I put in that work. And I'm known in these streets because I put in that work. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I didn't get to do the harmonies, but it's pretty much the same concept, guys. Um, you just pan things out. Uh, if you have three different harmonies, you do uh, you record two each vocals for each, and you pan them 50, 80, 100 or you know just whatever sits well in the mix i really hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial uh if you want more in-depth deep tutorials on how to mix and master music i have skype tutorials where i do 75 dollars an hour i will show you how to mix deep and in-depth teach you guys some things personal one-on-one -on -one. i will mentor you guys uh if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like rate comment subscribe show other people this video uh check out my other videos if you need mixing and mastering do not hesitate to call me or contact me. Guys, thank you for watching this video.
See you around.